Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ray Chishu from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and it's a pleasure to share our work today, weekly supervised video moments retrieval via location irrelevant uh, proposal learning. Uh, sorry, wait a moment. Okay. In the video moment retrieval task, when given a natural language sentence query, our goal is to locate the corresponding video moment, which means that we want to determine the starting point and the ending point of this description in the entire video. In a supervised setting, the time step labels are provided in the tra training set, uh, uh, training process, but this also leads to a heavy reliance on well annotated labels and a model may suffer from annotation inconsistency among different annotators. And at the same time, there's also this weekly supervised setting where annotations are not provided at all during the training phase. You only get to know that there is this video clip and somewhere in this video, there's moment that correspond to this natural language description. Now this relieves the burden of a biased annotation. But of course, it's a more challenging setting to deal with. But most works in weekly supervised video moment retrieval, they first sample a series of candidate video moments to match several text descriptions in a single video. The matched text video pair are treated as positive samples and unpaired ones as negative samples. And then they follow the constructive uh, learning diagram and paragraph paradigm. Well, in our method, we lower the uncertainty of uh, mismatching candidates by taking advantage of pre-trained video text models. Since they are trained with large amounts of video text data, these models show great performance in semantic matching and has the ability to provide a pseudo label as the video proposal. And our another focus emphasize on this location irrelevant. So what do we mean by location irrelevant? Let's just take an example of these commonly used video moment retrieval data sets, Tackles and Taraz. Well, Tackles is a data set full of cooking videos. You can imagine that there is uh, long complex procedures in cooking in each video and almost every single step can be annotated as a video moment. So indeed, every single video contains numerous annotations. Uh, of short video moments. And Taraz is basically the opposite. It contains out, uh, outdoor videos and each video with few in annotations of short video moments. So you can see from this table that for Taraz and ActivityNet, uh, the average annotation in one video is less than five, while in Tackles, this figure rises up to 148. And another analysis on this moment length also shows that moments of tackles typically occupy less than 10% of the video length, while for charas, they're mostly 20% to 50%. So this leads us to a question that, is the model actually learn the semantic matching between the text and videos, or is it just guessing uh, these, these attributes of specific data sets? For example, if this data set is filled with a long moments, why don't I just always get a long time step? And it will certainly lead to a high IOU. And in later experiments, you'll see how these state-of-the-art methods experience severe performance degradation on synthetic data sets, even if these video moments aren't changed at all. So to tackle the problem of location relevance, our architecture start with a series of parallel pipelines. A video is divided into several video clips and a pre-trained video text model is utilized to calculate the similarity between the text description and video clips. Since these pipelines are independent, the video text model essentially captures the local feature of a video sample. And to further capture the global feature, an additional, additional prompt encoder is introduced. Although the pre-trained model has good performance in semantic matching of video and text, there's a domain gap between the pre-trained data and samples in this downstream task. So we consider using prompt-based visual encoder to fuse the multi-granularity visual feature into text encoder. 
so as to bridge the pre-trained model and this downstream data set with pseudo labels. Specifically, we extract the visual feature of each video clip as local feature, and then we calculate the global feature via fusing local features. With global feature as input, prompt encoder outputs the visual prompt uh, the prompt feature, which is concatenated with textual embeddings. In the training phase, we first select the video clip with the highest similarity score computed by pre-trained video text model. After the proposal is generated, we use this pseudo label as supervision and train the whole model with a prompt encoder in an end-to-end -end manner and in a retrieval setting. In the testing phase, each video is first segmented into non-overlapping video clips, and then they are fed into trained model and the prediction can be produced in the same way as the proposal generation does. So eventually, we select the proposal with the largest similarity as the final results. So now the problem falls into a proper proposal generation method. The most intuitive idea is to select the most relevant clip as a pseudo label, which referred to as the uh, naive method. The similarity of a certain video clip is determined by similarity with all other video clips, and you can see their relevance in this similarity matrix uh, can show that the, the blocks with high similarity may indicate a potential video moment. There's also the greedy method, which repeatedly diminishes the unlikely part until the similarity reaches maximum. For each round, we compare the similarity of each half of the video and it raises a quarter of the side with lower similarity. And this procedure is repeated until the similarity score doesn't increase compared with the last round. The last one we tried, and also what we implemented eventually, is the anchor method. A center clip with the highest similarity score is first selected, and then a variety of anchors are set, and the one with the highest similarity score is chosen as the proposed pseudo label. And the same proposal generation method is applied in both training and testing for consistency. We conducted these experiments on Shiraz and ActivityNet. Compared with the state-of-the-art pre-trained methods, we achieved 4.35% increase on Shiraz and 1.4% on ActivityNet in terms of MIOU. And our method is also performing uh, outperforming most of the weekly supervised methods and some of the fully supervised methods. And still, back to the beginning of the location irrelevant issue, to evaluate the robustness of a proposed method towards temporal location bias and the effectiveness of dealing with long video sequence, we propose two synthetic datasets by directly adjusting the original Terras and ActivityNet datasets. Specifically, we concatenated two irrelevant video samples, which enriches the semantic space while keeping the original video moments. Among these qualitative results, A and B are conducted on the original Terras dataset, and C is the synthetic dataset. And you can see that similarity bar, which is predicted by our method in different time slots. You can see that the counterpart weekly supervised method tends to predict a certain proportion of the total video length, which shows that it is sensitive to the location bias to some extent. Since the models are directly evaluated on corresponding synthetic data sets, they all suffered from some extent of performance degradation. The performance of all of these weekly supervised methods nearly dropped to zero, while our method even outperforms the supervised ones. So this further proves the location irrelevant characteristic of our method. So overall, we propose a prompt-based VMR model which exploits the ability of pre-trained video text model. Our method includes reasonable proposal generation and prompt learning for better performance, and all these experiments show that uh, we have a superiority over existing SOTAs, as well as that we have this robustness towards temporal localization bias and long sequences. Uh, that's all for our presentation. Thank you.